Hello, I'm Dr. Tzafi Timor from the Kibbutzim College of Education, Technology and the Arts in Tel Aviv, Israel. And I'll present today a study that I've conducted on student teachers' perceptions of online discussion forums and asynchronized tasks in learning and teaching. The literature acknowledges that courses incorporated in teacher education programs may change students' perceptions and their sense of competence during, regarding the integration of technologies in teaching if the knowledge acquired is implemented in the student's teaching environment and transferred to the schoolwork, and also if the students are exposed to online teaching tools in their practice teaching. Researchers agree that the basis for positive attitudes towards computer technology among teachers has to be set during the training periods. Previous studies indicate that collaborative learning, such as synchronized and asynchronized tasks, is an interactive build, knowledge building process which helps to improve metacognitive skills. Forum discussions have also been found to be effective in helping students to focus attention the present study examines student teachers' perceptions of online discussion forums and asynchronized tasks in learning and teaching. It is noteworthy that the study has not focused on attitudes towards computers in general, but has specifically investigated student teachers' perceptions with regard to two online tools, asynchronized tasks and online discussion forums. The forum and asynchronized task dealt with the topic of linguistic learning disabilities as part of an academic course on learning disabilities and the main objective was to encourage independent learning of this topic via online tools. This asynchronized task took four weeks within six with six phases, each of which had a deadline for online submission. Phases one to four involved individual learning Phase five involved group discussions on the forum and was the most time consuming because the student participants had to conduct an online discussion and reach a consensus on a dilemma brought up by the researcher. Phase six involved individual reflections on the process. The study was conducted on phase, phase six only. For this sake, a content analysis of the forum was conducted. The group of student teachers consisted of four year, fourth year students from a college of education who are also in the first year of teaching in school. The research questions revolved around three points. One, what are the student teachers' perceptions of the online learning process that they themselves have experienced online? What are the student teachers' perceptions of the collaborative learning that they have experienced on the forum? And finally, what are the student teachers' perceptions of the prospects of the future use of these tools, these online tools, in their teaching? So let me now proceed to the findings. The findings yielded that most student teachers, 95% of them, expressed positive attitudes with regard to online learning process that they had experienced. 82% of them also expressed positive attitudes with regard to the collaborative work on the forums with a clear preference to the group work phases over individual phases. Student teachers' perceptions were that forums are advantages, broadening and enlarging, enlarging um, the learning process, enhancing learning, building knowledge, creating collaboration, allowing flexibility with time management, encouraging all learners to express themselves. However, there seems to be a gap between the positive attitudes towards online learning and the willingness to implement these tools in teaching, which was only 60%. Of course, the gap can be accounted for in many ways, such as lack of confidence to use online teaching methods in the first year of teaching, or lack of ability to transfer the academic knowledge to field work, to practice teaching. Due to the missing link between learning and teaching, and with reference to previous studies, it is recommended that online tools be incorporated in theoretical and pedagogical courses in teacher training programs, so that student teachers can experience the tools naturally and frequently during their studies before they are expected to incorporate them in teaching. Computer technology should also be implemented in practice teaching to allow for a natural transfer from the college level to school level. It is also suggested that further research focus on the points in time where changes occur, such as before or after an online course in college, 
or between the end of training and beginning of teaching. It may be, for instance, that motivation and self-confidence towards online teaching is enhanced as a result of a course to be later decreased at the outset of teaching due to a multitude of tasks at schools that novice teachers experience. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy the conference.